welcome back to another video in this series we'll be chasing after a fish that has been on my list for a long long time one that has eluded me time and time again it's the one that's gonna keep you up at night now before we jump into anything let's learn about this animal's life history biology anatomy and physiology and why this fish is prized as one of East Coast's top game fish. Join me in this quest to finally catch a true beast, the New Jersey Black Drum. discovered the sport of fishing pretty late in life. Grew up in a house that revolved around sports all year round, but the sport of baseball was the first love and always took priority no matter the season. Similar to the sport of fishing and life in general, baseball is a game of failure. 300 batting average is considered to be excellent, obviously depending on the level of play. With that said, a player is still failing to reach base safely majority of the time. College baseball wasn't going as planned while attending nursing school. This is when a new sport would take over. Fast forward eight years, my fishing knowledge continues to grow. There is one fish that continues to be on my list, and that is the New Jersey Black Drum. Great attempts were made these past two springs, but unfortunately, it was a swing and miss. Luckily for me, I was always a good two-strike hitter. Eat the Black Drum. He belongs to the Croker family, alongside some other big names. The Red Drum, Spotted Sea Trout, and Weak Fish. Others include the various sea trouts, Kingfish, Atlantic Croker, Spot, and Silver Perch. Black Drum is the largest of the family. It ranges along the East Coast, from New York all the way down to the Gulf of Mexico. Its scientific name is Poganius Chromus. The name comes from the Greek Poganius, which means bearded, and Chromus, which means to grunt or to croak. The average size is among the largest of any coastal sport fish, providing fishermen with a battle that is strong and bullish. Black Drum grow quickly, reaching full maturity within two years. These fish spawn in or around estuaries, which are partially enclosed coastal bodies of brackish water with one or more rivers or streams flowing into it, and with a free connection to the open sea. These fish also inhabit piers and bridges. My understanding for us Jersey fishermen is that we have a shot at these fish in our backwaters come the months of March and April, and another chance at them in the surf in May and June. The history of the black drum involves its significance in fishing communities, but there isn't a specific record of who called it first, as it has likely been caught by various communities throughout history. The diet of the black drum changes with age. They are primarily bottom feeders, but have been known to eat small fish, such as pilchards and small menhaden. 
In the black drum's younger stages of life, its diet consists of soft crustaceans, small fishes, and small invertebrates. Soft and more abundant foods are more likely consumed due to less powerful and underdeveloped crushing teeth. The larger black drum feed on mollusks, such as oyster, clam, and mussel, and various types of crab. Black drum are gonochoristic, born as either one of two sexes, male or female, whereas the black sea bass are hermaphroditic, where they start as females, and as they mature and grow, become male. There is no way to distinguish the black drum sex by external characteristics. Spawning, or the release of eggs, occurs in our Delaware Bay between the second and fourth week of May. Mating has not been documented, but it is thought that these fish school together to migrate to spawning grounds. With that said, the large black drum is majority of the time a solitary animal. It has been estimated that a female black drum can carry up to 6 million eggs. It is believed while migrating, this fish makes a drumming sound. This is where its name is derived from. This drumming or croaking can be heard from boat and it is believed both male and female produce this sound with the females having a softer tone. The black drum is known for having an internal parasite. Located in the fish's muscle mass, it is a nematode called the spaghetti worm. Because of this, the smaller black drum are valued higher as food than larger adults which are usually infested with these parasites. Let's start with this animal's head and work down to its tail. The black drum has a sub-inferior mouth accompanied by chin barbels, which aid them greatly when searching for food on the bottom. These fish have a set of pharyngeal teeth, which are used to crush the shells of crab and mollusks. Their heads are short with blunt snouts, pectoral fins are long and pointed, and the dorsal fins are continuous, with the third spine being the longest. Anal fin is short, while the pectoral or ventral fins are large. A large broomstick tail is also present in this fish. Juvenile drum have black vertical stripes, while adults are deep bronze to dingy black. A beast. That's exactly what this fish is. There is some history of this fish, but I wanted to save it for this segment in an attempt to emphasize its truly massive size. In 1975, off of Cape and in Lewes, Delaware, a man by the name of Gerald Townsend caught and weighed the world record black drum. Of all the months, September, and of all the baits, a chunk of cut mullet got the job done. Talk about an unbelievable record catch. This fish weighed a whopping 113 pounds and one ounce. This record was set to never be touched again. Until 2018, Alistair Bremnall. South Carolina caught and weighed a black drum that was 122 pounds. Now, due to the state's regulations, the fish had to be released, making it an uncertified record. Just to put into perspective, the world record striped bass that currently stands is 81 pounds. Not only is this fish large, it is one tough animal. Many migrating adults have lacerated bellies from the continuous friction 
of the oyster reefs. I observed what I believed was mating underneath the Brigantine Bridge one April. Two black drum violently swirling and thrashing on top of each other near the surface of the water. We threw live and artificial baits at the two distracted animals, but they were obviously preoccupied. These fish are known to be gnarly specimens, at times having malformations such as lost eyes, body lacerations, and deformed mouths. A tank would be a good way to describe this animal. Black drum are also urihaline, meaning they can tolerate a wide variety of solidity. Young drum usually inhabit brackish and freshwater, while adults prefer the hypersaline setting. Lastly, I believe this fish to be extremely elusive, especially in our New Jersey waters. Commonly, they are bycatches of fishermen targeting striped bass, but this has yet to be the case for myself.